Capital High Seniors, here we go. Time for dancing. We got to get ready for graduation. Here's the site Nelson Stadium, June 6, 2 o'clock. So welcome to the commencement ceremony of Class of 2020 practice uh, presentation. Uh, the following will be some pictures, some videos, just to help get some details for as perfect of a ceremony as possible. Students, here is where you will arrive uh, for the ceremony. Uh, we will have staggered times, uh, so stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, this is the entrance. Uh, this is where uh, you'll you'll get your mask, and then you'll walk in. We're going to have escorts just to help you find your assigned seat. So once again, this is on the west end of the field. Here's the PE center. There's the campus. So once again, this is where uh, you will enter, and then head out onto the field. When the ceremony's over, this will be where you will exit. Uh, you'll just come across up the field. Uh, up this ramp here and out this gate uh, once again just keeping uh, social distancing in mind uh, and this will be the exit and that's why it will be important to park over on this side of campus uh, back behind over here towards the YMCA and uh, we'll review parking here shortly parking so we are asking all graduates to please park over on the east side of campus there's the YMCA over there. So graduates, uh, park over here and then walk over to uh, the west gate by the PE Center. Uh, once again, that's gonna be the entrance. So there's parking spots over here. There's a lot of parking over on this side. Uh, this would be the south side of campus. So if you could please park here and then walk over to Nelson Stadium. Uh, that way we can leave all the parking at the PE Center uh, for family uh, and guests uh, of the ceremony. So, what is the price of admission to attend uh, the Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony of Capitol High? It's free, as long as you are respectful of yourself and others. Graduates, you must wear your school-issued face mask, uh, which is pictured uh, beside there. Uh, you'll receive that at the West Gate when you arrive. Uh, why do we want you to wear a school-issued face mask? Well, one, it's to ensure that you have one, and two, it's to make sure that the mask is appropriate. Uh, guests, please remember that you have to have your uh, face mask uh, to enter, and uh, both graduates and guests must fill out a screening card, turn it in when you arrive. Uh, the graduates, you will receive those screening cards on Wednesday and Thursday of this week uh, when you pick up your two guest tickets, as well as any other items. And uh, finally, uh, speaking of mortarboard decoration and being respectful, uh, there were some directions emailed, I believe, to parents about two weeks ago. So uh, just if you have any questions on what you can or cannot have on that mortarboard, please make sure and let us know. So ceremony starts at two o'clock Saturday, June 6th. And in order to help ensure social distancing, we are asking uh, students to arrive at different times. And when you do arrive at that gate, pick up your mask, uh, turn in your screening card. Uh, please make sure and continue to keep your social distance. And we do expect to have some staff volunteers who will be available to help escort um, groups of students at a time 
out to their assigned seat. So last name A through D, please arrive uh, right around 110. Last name A through E through K, 120. Last name L through RI, 130. And then finally, last name RO through Z at 140. And once again, the ceremony starts at 2 o'clock. So graduates, you're probably wondering what I need to bring with me to graduation. Uh, first off, the mortarboard. Uh, make sure that you follow the guidelines that were sent out recently as far as how to decorate um, and just reminders for that. Uh, your gown, uh, the mass. Uh, once again, um, we have mass for you. We are asking all graduates to wear those same mass. And those will be found at the Westgate uh, when you arrive. Also a screening card. Um, and just bring that with you, get that filled out. And that is, um, that's one of the items that you'll be receiving uh, with the rest of any other grad items during textbook uh, return later on this week. Here's an overhead view of the graduation ceremony. If you take a look at the far right, that is the entry. That's at Westgate of Nelson Stadium over by the PE Center. Uh, we'll have staggered start times to arrive starting at 110 based upon your last name. Stage is at the very top, so everything to the left there, we're just referring that to that as the left-hand side. And as you look at the stage, uh, then uh, everything to the right is the right-hand side. At the very bottom there, you'll see the bleachers. All the little red dots represent the guests, two tickets per student, and uh, keeping in mind the social distancing that will be occurring uh, in the bleachers. If you take a look off to the left, that's the graduate exit. Uh, we'll be reviewing that later, but there, there will be an order for how we will then exit when the ceremony is over to keep social distancing in mind up to that gate and then out to where uh, you've parked over on that side of campus. As for the order of our ceremony, uh, the national anthem that will be uh, sung by three uh, of our senior students, then a welcome, uh, introduce uh, some of the visitors uh, at the ceremony, and then a welcome from our superintendent, Dr. Reem, uh, the reading of the uh, names of our valedictorian, salutatorian, and bearer award recipients, uh, student speeches. We have four students that were selected from a panel of judges uh, around a month ago. Uh, Alex Crisp, he will introduce our uh, graduation speaker. And then the reading of the class role, uh, this, is, this will be completed by all of our valedictorians. Uh, there was an email sent out last week that when, uh, with the reading of the first, middle, and last name, if you feel that you have any names that may be difficult to pronounce, uh, make sure that you uh, can get connected with the valedictorian who will be reading your name. Uh, send them an email or find some other way to get in touch with them uh, to make sure that, uh, that uh, you provide them a proper way uh, to pronuncia pronunciate uh, their name. And then finally, the declaration of graduation. So after the declaration of graduation, uh, typically there's always the throwing of the grad cap or the, the mortar board. Uh, however, this year, uh, due to the social distancing uh, requirements, uh, please keep in mind that you're not able to throw uh, your grad cap. Uh, and the biggest reason is just uh, within that grid that's, that's going to be set up to create all of the distancing uh, between all graduates. Uh, if you threw your cap and it goes outside that area, you're not able to go retrieve it. Um, so just going back to the very beginning, the price of admission this year uh, is uh, free as long as you're respectful of yourself and others. So I realize it is a tradition with graduation, but uh, uh, just not for this year. All right, hey, good afternoon. Uh, we're here at Graduation 101. So uh, we're looking at the stage, we're in the back. So this is the left-hand side, this is the right-hand side, and uh, once you get the, uh, the different locations for where, you're, uh, where you will be seated, uh, this is going to be seat one uh, in, on the left-hand side in all of the various rows. 
whereas seat one on the right hand side is going to be over on this edge. So during the actual ceremony, uh, when your name is going to be read, this entire row stands up, the whole row, all at once, and then they proceed, keeping social distancing in mind, and they're going to go start lining up here uh, on this stage. So this whole row starts to head up, and this person, uh, when they start to, after they get their name read, then they're going to walk across, down the exit, around, and then uh, back up the middle, and then back to their original seat. So we'll do that again then with row two. So then row two, the entire row, stands up, exit out the side, same thing. They're gonna stand here, wait their turn, keep their social distance. Once their name is read, they're gonna walk across the stage, go down the exit ramp, get their picture taken there, I forgot about that part, and then come all the way around, and once again, go back in to get to their seat. So. That's gonna continue for all the rows on this side. Then we're gonna to go to the right-hand side. All right, we're back. We're at Grad Practice 101, part two. Now we're on the right-hand side. So after we've gone through all the rows on the left, now we're over here on the right-hand side. So once we get to this row, this row is going to stand up. And on this right-hand side, you're going to exit out the side Go all the way to the back, all the way over to here, and then start, once again, keeping social distancing in mind. Uh, keep that distance. And then as you go across the stage, uh, a couple of things I forgot in the last video. Uh, after your name is read, don't forget about that, then you will cross the stage, pick up your diploma cover here, and then as you go across to the exit, uh, you're gonna quickly get your picture taken uh, by a photographer and then it's back around to the very back and then you're going to walk up the middle back to your row and back to your seat so let's do that one more time with row two over here on the right hand side so once again row two stands up go out the side all the way in the back all the way over here get in line and then one at a time come up here after your name is read, grab your graduate, your uh, diploma cover, go across the stage, down the exit, get your picture taken. Once again, all the way down the side, halfway across the back, back up to the middle, and then go back into that row. So that is once again how we are going to uh, work uh, the procession um, for graduation here, uh, both uh, on the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side. Thank you. Okay, so we already reviewed how to walk in, uh, and you're going to be taking your seats uh, at that staggered start time. But now we need to review the exit. So uh, here's the stage. This is the left-hand side, the right-hand side of our uh, senior sections. Here was that entrance gate where everybody came in at, before this started, and everybody then took their seats. Uh, here's the bleachers. So when this is all over, we're going to just start right up here, last name A's, and keeping social distancing. Uh, it'll be this row uh, exiting first, and then after this last person, then this person will follow behind, uh, keeping that social distancing. Up the ramp, here's that exit gate that I showed in a video earlier, and then out to your vehicle. Um, so that would be this left-hand side. And then once this entire side is emptied, uh, then we'll be starting over here. I guess I'll go ahead and take out this entire left-hand side. So now we're just left with the right-hand side. So then it'll be this first row up here, over and out the ramp, uh, followed uh, just like on this side, followed by the next row, all the way to the very back. And just a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, seniors, here's that exit gate once again, and then hopefully everybody's parked over on this end. Here's the bleachers, so just a reminder for those parents or guests that are watching, uh, guests will exit this way because the guest parking is supposed to be over here uh, in front of the PE Center. And that's how we will exit after the 
uh, commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. Thank you.